I want you to imagine for a moment that Jesus is still in the Gospels, still performing miracles, um, still doing all the Jesus stuff that Jesus does, with one exception, that Jesus is staying perfectly still. Jesus is not traveling. He is not meeting with friends. He is just in one place. Uh, Folks cannot come and see him. Uh, He can still preach and teach as he wishes. The time of COVID-19 is a strange time for churches, and it is a strange time for United Methodist Volunteers and Mission. And the reason it is so strange to us is because God made us to connect with one another. We are meant for connection. We are meant to be together physically, not just through laptops and computers. We are meant to touch. We are meant to hear each other's voices in real time. We are meant to look into each other's eyes and see the hurt, the pain, the joy that we feel together. United Methodist Volunteers and Mission exists because of God's connection with each of us and because of our connection with each other. There are several things I'd like to ask you today. The first is to recognize that we are meant to be together physically with one another. God created us to be this way. The second thing I'd like to ask is that we need help, not just the church, but United Methodist Volunteers and Mission in general. You can go today to umvim.org slash give to help us during this time. Umvim thrives on connection, on seeing one another in person, on shaking hands and giving hugs. And because we can't do that right now, we are hurting. Travel is a big part of our connection with each other as United Methodists. And so during this difficult time, we ask you give as much as you can to unthem.org slash give. The third thing I'd like to ask is for you to prepare, to prepare for new changes to come. United Methodist Volunteers and Mission exists because of connection. Our job is to resource United Methodists and Christians to make connections with one another through Christian love and action. Starting in early summer, the Southeast jurisdiction, which I help lead along with Gray, Gambrell, and others, will join forces with the other jurisdictional offices across the United States to share resources, to better serve you as United Methodists and Christians as you go forth into the world to serve. Now, that may not look like what we intended it to be, but we hope that you utilize umvim.org as it relaunches in the early summer. The five jurisdictions will share one website, umvim.org. We hope that the resources will help you as teams and team leaders uh, to make better connections, to serve one another better, to find new places to serve and to strengthen connection. We hope you will find it easy to use, consistent. We hope that the forms will look the same and you will be able to uh, obtain travel uh, insurance as you um, have been before, um, even after COVID-19 ends. The one thing I want you to remember though is this, you and I, God made us for one another, and we hope that you take the time to recognize that and to recognize that Umvim's job is to bring people together in Christian love and action. And right now, bringing people together is hard, and so we need your help. Visit umvim.org slash give today to help as much as you can. Even just a little bit helps. Our mission is to serve you and to serve God, and we will continue to do that in whatever form it takes. Thank you, and God bless.